We turn to our top story this morning. We are still learning more about a series of telemarketing calls that are pushing for the impeachment of Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. You'll remember members of the committee considering the impeachment of Roundsburg and their constituents were receiving those calls as part of a coordinated telemarketing campaign by Grand Solutions, Inc. Our Austin Goss has uncovered new details about the origin of those calls and has that story in a State House 2022 update. I was on the phone, I just gave him an update and the governor called, so I'm, I'm sort of calling you back. Like the governor's, in, the governor's actually involved in this, so that's why there's, it's, it's more specific. But it's nice because this person is running for president. I don't know if they're running for Democrat or Republican, so they have a huge uh, budget for the Senate race, which is coming up in a couple months. So that's why they do a good job. That is the voice of Angel Kane owner of Grand Solutions, Inc., based out of Northeastern Ohio, on a voicemail that was accidentally left on the phone of a lawmaker considering the impeachment of Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. In the message, Kane appears to be talking about South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem and indicating her involvement in the telemarketing campaign. Several attempts to reach Kane were not successful, but a man who identified himself as a spokesperson for Kane refused to identify the individual or organization who had contracted Grand Strategies for their services. Any politician, political campaign, um, or political party. The voicemail was one of several that were released by South Dakota Speaker of the House Spencer Gosh. Gosh would not speculate about who he believes hired Grand Solutions and did not wish to discuss any conclusions gathered from the recordings, other than it's possible multiple federal and state laws were broken. We need to know is anybody using their official position to influence to try to change, to do anything in a corrupt manner uh, to influence this in a negative way. Uh, because corruption is clearly stated in that article in the Constitution. Noam, who has significant political ties to the Buckeye State, vehemently denied the allegations through her campaign. Her campaign manager, Joe Desilet, released the following statement. Quote, there's no wiggle room, no doubt. The campaign nor the governor directed this, wanted this, authorized this, paid for it, anything at all. End quote. Desley did not venture into pointing fingers on the matter, but suggested that Grand Solutions could have been hired by Noam's 2022 gubernatorial challenger, Steve Haugard of Sioux Falls. Haugard's campaign manager, Dennis Fusaro, was himself involved in a number of incidents involving robocalls. In 2017, Fusaro was charged in Maryland for using robocalls that Maryland prosecutors deemed illegal. Those charges would later be appealed and eventually overturned. The first I heard about these calls interfering with the Attorney General proceedings was when I received the calls myself. No one from my campaign has anything to do with them. Upon hearing the voicemail, Attorney General Jason Roundsburg committed to investigating the origins of the calls vigorously. In the Peer Newsroom, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now.